check that out. You're going to wake up and the clouds are going to be right there for you. Just uh, don't drink and get drunk and then go <laughs> down. That's not a good idea. <laughs> good morning, everyone. Wow, good it's, morning, everyone. So dark. They can't see us. It's 4.30 a.m. on Tuesday, and we're heading out to the mountains to see the clouds over the mountains. So by the time we get there, it should be maybe a little lighter, and maybe you'll see us. We don't know, but uh, stick around. It's going to be a great day up here in Nan province of Thailand. Sorry, folks, but it's dark out, and unfortunately, we just took this crazy, idiotic drive all the way up the mountain in the dark, and there are no clouds here. So it's one of those 50-50s, and our 50 went on the wrong side this time. This is where we're supposed to see clouds. <laughs> I know you can't see anything. There's really nothing to see. So we will try to figure out what to do next. Not every day. Mm. Every day. Not every day right here. But she said that if we go a little bit up inside in the village, we might get lucky, but not for sure. There's no clouds here today. Yeah, not cloud today. But All right. Well, we struck out, struck out, folks. We wanted to bring you clouds, but instead we brought you a tiny bit of haze and, and not a whole lot more oh well we tried but that's it i'm not doing this drive ever again crazy enough is enough i'm getting too old to drive like a 18 year old this is what we came for to see clouds up here unfortunately we got one of those 50 50 days with the 50 on the side of no clouds this is generally where you would see them. The nice lady was just telling Tiki, uh -huh. that nice lady right there, was just telling Tiki that 
the clouds don't come as much in January as they do in October and November. And if we want to go up four more kilometers, we could. But I told Tiki, I don't want to go up four more kilometers, so we're not going to. Anyway, we were going to bring you some beautiful clouds from here. But we struck out. It happens. So I'm going to wait until it gets a little lighter out before we take that drive back down the mountain. This is her homestay, but she said that in January, no tourists come. Uh -huh. We're going to start to come mid of September and most and fully book in October, November. Ah, he said that this is the viewpoint to see the cloud from here. Mm -hmm. He said the cloud is gonna be up here. Yeah, too bad. Yeah. Oh, it's very good for the. Ask her for her information. We'll put it in the video. Maybe some people will want to come and see it here. No one. No one. We see the side in front. Well. It would be beautiful to see the clouds from here, folks, but oh, just yeah. one of those days, it happens. So if you folks would like to come up here, we'll put the details down below in the comments section. This is what her little homestead looks like. She's very much booked September, October, and November, but now, of course, is the quiet season for her. We're in January. And right down here are what the houses look like. So you're not going to be living in the lap of luxury, but you're going to be getting an incredible view of the clouds when they come. So this is her property. And this is the view. Again, not much, but if you want to come up here and have an awesome experience, this could be a place to do it. So she has six houses here and there's a toilet in each house. So you do have some privacy. Yeah, she's very nice. She asked us that, do you want to get inside to look at the room? I said, no, thank you very much. No, but we'll let everybody know. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the nice owner right there. She woke up early just for us. Oh, nice. She is offered to show us what one of the houses look like. It's right away to get in the mountain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And apparently there's a Ooh. jacuzzi pool. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Maybe it's just a bathtub. Okay, just a bathtub. <laughs> wow. Check that out. You're going to wake up and the clouds are going to be right there for you. Careful. Just uh, don't drink and get drunk and then go <laughs> down. That's not a good idea, but what a beautiful view. Do you want to turn off the lights, he said? Yeah, turn them off for a sec. Okay. So... There it is, folks, up in the mountains. Your own little retreat to wake up and see the clouds. Again, I'll put all of the contact information in below the comments section. Starting to get a little light out. I can go back to the GoPro. Take some video of the area for you. 
It really is beautiful up here. It's just a pain in the neck to get here. But this homestead that she has, that I just used my phone to make the video, uh, it really is pretty extraordinary if you want to come and commune with the clouds for a day or two. She is sold out from September through December, apparently. And now we're in January, as I said earlier, and it is the slow season. There is nobody here. But really spectacular experience if this is your thing. That's the name of the homestead in Thai. So for our Thai friends, you know where we are and what the name is. And we'll put it down in English below. That wasn't quite the experience that we were hoping to bring you, but it turned out to be pretty good because we get to show you this really cool area. There is a village and it is getting lighter out now, so maybe we'll take the plunge up about four kilometers into the village and see what's there. Do I see a cloud coming? Not really. No clouds, but it is a beautiful area all the same. We'll get back on the road, either go up to the village or head back home and get some breakfast. It's probably around uh, 6.30 a.m. right now. We're going to be hungry soon, and I lost Tiki. Let's go find her. This is her entire homestead street view. This is all her property. Mm -hmm. Careful. And traffic. Folks, as we're traveling up in the mountains of Nan, I just want to say that this is what our channel is about. We're not real educational. We don't go out of our way to study things and then share with you. What we want to do is just bring you the beauty of Thailand, the beauty of the world, and the way we see things. So I hope you enjoy this video and all of our non, and stay with us on the channel because this is all the channel is, just bringing you our life and the things we find in life and the crazy driving that we do and occasionally walking to rapids with bare feet which is kind of silly you can see that video in the, in the uh, playlist area uh, that was the Philippines so if you like this kind of stuff stick around subscribe we appreciate that always and we will continue to bring you more as we explore Thailand and as we explore as much of the world as we can. So, thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Yep. And here's the village. Are we going to have to turn around to go back or can we continue this way to go back? No, we have to go back. All right, so we have to find a place to turn. Unfortunately, the coffee shop is closed until 9 a.m. and it's only, what, seven? Yeah, it's seven. All right, when there's a fork in a road, you take it, but which way? Maybe we can back turn around. Yeah, I think we'll here. have to make a U-turn. This is a nice village. It's beautiful, actually, yeah. Look at this nice house. Mm -hmm. All right, let's find a place to turn. Hmm. We can turn here. Yeah. There's the village that we just passed through. It's actually pretty big. Look at that beautiful sky. Awesome.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, after a long, long, long trip to the mountains and back, time for some breakfast. We're hungry. More importantly, we need coffee. I need coffee too. Can you make? And today's breakfast will save us room for a delicious lunch. Tiki's freezing, by the way. <laughs> it is a little chilly up here in comparison to Bangkok, which is awesome. But she's definitely feeling it a little bit. I have never seen this one before very pretty have seen that i have never seen this one isn't that beautiful yeah very beautiful i was at this coffee shop with vance and udom oh gosh three years ago <laughs> arabica non-coffee very good and i promised the guys that tiki and i would visit yeah so, and we are here and we didn't have a really great coffee for breakfast so we definitely need to get juiced up with something good so it's a really nice coffee shop and restaurant too i remember they had nice breakfast items I don't know if they have lunch items or not. So another place that we would recommend you visiting when you're up in Nan. Yeah. Awesome. Beautiful coffee shop. She's doing her thing. Well, I guess it's only fair. I do all the video if she takes the pictures. What do you want to have? Coffee, coffee, coffee. Arabica. And then they have this nice little garden back here. Really lovely. We both got caramel macchiatos, but they look a little bit different. <laughs> nice design. Yeah, I like my better. All right, try it. I, I like coffee. It's good. So good. All right. This uh, is my style. Strong but sweet of the caramel. <laughs> Let me try mine. By the way, Tiki Page, she said they were only 120 baht for both. <laughs> Good price. It's cheap up here in Nan, guys. Nice, right. nice place to visit. Even a nice place to live if you like a nice quiet life up here in the mountains. Do you need to add the spender in? A little bit, yeah, but it's good. Okay. I like already. I don't need to add it in. 